Hey guys, today I want to show you how to create this perfect water drop. And I know a lot of you might be thinking that it's very easy to make a water drop in Illustrator. And yes, it is, if you know the right technique. But since you're here watching this, you might have been trying to do it the wrong way. Today I want to show you how to create it the wrong way and the right way afterwards. So the first thing we want to do is go to view, then go to show grid, then go to view again and snap to grid like this. And when, what people usually do when they try to draw a water drop is go to this ellipse tool, then draw a circle, whoops, draw a circle like this. And then they want to take a line segment tool and draw this kind of cone on top of the circle to make the water drop. And you can see it is kind of like a water drop, but it's not perfect. So even if I take the shape builder tool and merge these together and merge this together like this and remove the border like this and take it again and and color it like this. You can see it's still got these odd bumps and it's not perfect. So that's pretty hard to get perfect if you don't know the right technique. So now I will show the right technique. So delete this one. The thing you actually want to do is take this uh, ellipse tool, then draw a circle. You can just make it the border. Then you want to take the line segment tool and do like this instead. Go straight up like this. Just far up. It doesn't matter how much. Then you want to select these two shapes and rotate them by holding down shift and rotate 45 degrees. Then you want to just put it inside one of these squares again to make it straight. So now you want to take a line segment tool again and go from the middle of this and just go up until the cross right here. So next thing you want to do is just select these shapes then go to the shape builder tool, hold down the alt key and click the axis right here. And then release the alt key and just click and drag. So you merge these two together. So that's basically how you do the right water drop as you can see. And because we rotated it 45 degrees, we now need to go to transform, then rotate it half of 45 degrees so that's 22.5 degrees. So now it's perfectly straight. So that's how you make a perfect droplet. Thank you for watching. See you in another episode. Please like this video if you want to see more of these. I really appreciate it.